Hey, this is Kelly, and I'd like to show you today a little bit about how to make a picture quote that you can save on Facebook or Google Plus or wherever you like to save things, uh, share things. I'm going to start out showing you a great place, which is right here on the screen, that's called Morgue File, which is a fantastic place for finding free photos. Um, you can use anything on here in any way you like. You don't have to give attribution. The people, the people who share the photos do like it if you send them an email or a message and let them know how you used it so that they can see it. Um, but you're not required to do that. <clears throat> and you can use the photos for anything you like as long as it's not um, selling it on something. But you can use it on your web page with no problem. So I want to look for, I want to find a quote that has to do with somebody, um, well I have, a, I have a quote in mind which is a quote by Confucius that is a journey of a thousand um, miles begins with a single step. So I want to find a picture that, that goes with that. So I'm just going to do a little picture here, or a little search here in morgue file for determination, which I really already did before so I already know what picture I want. And we got this guy standing at the bottom of the hill looking at a flight of stairs going up to the top of the hill. So that seems like a great picture to go with my, with my quote. Now I mentioned in the article that I was, that this post is, that this video is shown in, that you will need a program called Jing that you have to down, that you can download. And Jing will show up on your computer like this. It stays there all the time like a little half sun. And you can, you can actually move this around. You can put it over there or wherever it is. I find it, I tend to find it easiest when it's up here at the top. Um, I just go here and click on capture and then I can come over here to this photo and I can cut what I want. Now if I only wanted a little bit of that or whatever, you know, you could do whatever it is you like. You can cut it however you want. And then I'm going to capture the image. I'm going to name it stairs so that I can find it easy. And then I'm going to put save. This saves it to my computer. Now you can do copy and it'll just copy it right to your clipboard if you want to paste it into something. Or you can share via screencast which will save it to a little site that you can copy a URL if you like want to share it somehow like that. <clears throat> I tend to save them to my computer in case I ever want to use it again. And I've already got it here in the right folder so let's save that. You might find some of the stuff on my computer confusing because I do have a Spanish version of Windows, so sometimes things come up in Spanish. Now this has been saved and the file path is ready to be pasted. So it's automatically pasted the the where I've saved it on my computer into my um, clipboard. But we don't really need that right now. So let's close that. I don't need this anymore. I've got my picture. Now we're going to go to our photo edi editor. And I use a site called PicMonkey, www.picmonkey.com. You can see it right up here. And we are going to edit a photo. So I'm going to go, I'm in my right, my, the right file, and I'm just going to stairs, boom, there it is, open. And there's my picture ready to edit. All I want to do here is add my quote. So if you come over here to the left, you see all your tools. Now there's a billion different tools here. You can this is your basic cropping, rotating, colors. <clears throat> there's an auto adjust for the color if you want to do that, which sure, why not? There's effects you can add. Now some of these are paid. You have there is a there's a Pick Monkey is free, but it also has a pro that you can pay for. And some of these you'll see they have a little um, like a little crown here, like here on film stock. There's a little crown. That means that that's a pro tool, so you have to pay if you want to use that. There's touch up. You can fix blemishes, blah blah blah, red eye, all that kind of stuff. Uh, overlays that you can put on different shapes and <clears throat> such. Uh, frames, just all kinds of stuff. But what we're looking for right here is text. So we're going to click on that P for pick monkey and we're going to add text. And it gives you a text box right here. I'm going to put this up here and I'm going to type my <clears throat> actually I can go to here, copy the clipboard. I had my 
this is the quote that I wanted to use right here. I'm pointing at it like you can see my fingers moving. Um, <coughs> and then we'll paste it right in there. Well, it didn't do it. See, even when you're doing a tutorial, things don't always work the way you want them to. So we'll just type it in. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Confucius. Now, we can smoosh this around, change the shape, whatever you need to do there to make it fit. Then you can select that, and you can choose a different font if you like. They've got a whole bunch of fonts over here. Let's see what that looks like. That looks kind of groovy. Eh, doesn't look as groovy as I thought it would. I don't like all caps. No, that's too much. That looks too fun. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, so we'll just use that. And there we go. Now we've made our picture quote, or quote picture. I've seen it called both things. People used to call these kind of pictures memes, but now they're not really, these aren't really memes anymore. It's um, lol cats and stuff like that are more memes. So I think people have taken to calling these quote pictures or picture quotes. Um, so let's see, whoops, I don't want it that big. There we go. Um, now all we have to do is save it because it's ready to be used. We're going to save it and it gives you low quality, great quality, or awesome quality. But the awesome quality is a really big file size, so we'll stick with the medium quality. <clears throat> Got it clicked on JPEG and we're going to save it. Save it. Boom. We're done. And now you can go into your over to Facebook and I can add a photo or video, upload photo. Find my picture. It was the JPEG, is the one with the quote added. Open it. <coughs> And post it. And there you go. Now, one thing you can do if you like, and which I usually do if I'm going to be posting this on my Facebook page, is I will do another add text and down at the bottom. I'll put my, my blog URL. So that if it gets shared, it still has my it still has my name on it down there so if it gets shared people will see that and they probably won't ever go to my page but <clears throat> at least it's there as it gets passed around but that's only if I make it myself I'm not going to do that with ones I share from other people <clears throat> so there you go that's how to make your quote picture and how to share it on Facebook and I wish you the best of luck this is Kelly the Take Action Wom and I'll talk to you next time <laughs>